All right, what's going on, beat makers? So, all right, the what we're gonna do here is um, we're pretty much going to utilize Edison to help us build, um, uh, you know, our own custom drum kits. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna utilize the um, add or remove marker button, the delete key on our keyboard and the export function in Edison and the way we're gonna start that is we have a sample or a drum loop already loaded into Edison and I'll go ahead and play it it's just a simple straightforward drum kit so as you can hear it's just a kick snare some hi-hats and a clap sample and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the add remove marker button and then click and drag this marker to our last hi-hat and what I'm going to do is just name that hi-hat right I'm going to click the, the button again the add remove marker button again and this time I'm going to name this marker clap because that's our clap sample or clap sound within our sample then I'm going to do the same for the snare and I'm going to do the same for the kick so as you can see here we pretty much have our slices or chops and we've actually named them as well alright and of course you can see the benefit in that um, it can you know pretty much shows us what what we're playing with in terms of the different slices and chops and you know how we can use them in our projects and whatnot so um, the next thing we're gonna do is actually delete these extra hi-hats because we already have a hi-hat list uh, named right here so what I'm gonna do is I've highlighted this hi-hat and what I'm gonna do is just hit the delete key on my keyboard alright so we got rid of that hi-hat it's not there anymore and of course we're gonna do the same for the other hi-hats press delete and of course you know when we play it you're just gonna hear the kick the snare the clap and the hi-hat next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and, and export and as you can see here we just have a save as dialog and what we can do here now is just uh, we can just call this I don't know my drum kit right my drum kit I'm gonna save that and now what we can do is I've actually um, mapped that particular directory to our browser so now if we go down here that sample simple.com drums and what I can do now is I'll actually see uh, my drum kit the clap which is that's the clap right there and I'm clicking on it right here We've got the hi-hat and we got the kick which of course is right here and we got the snare which is right there so there you have it that's how you can build your own drum kits and pretty much utilize them in your projects so of course you can drag and do whatever you need to do drag it in your in your project and go ahead and and use them in your in your drum in your uh in your projects all right see me clearly i beat off daily chop samples finally and precisely like bread through the middle down with the middle, yo, slither through her middle, tattoo.